Welcome back to the show. Now, Eric Murray knows a lot about courage teaming up with Hamish Bond to win Olympic gold in London. But the rowing champ says his efforts pale in comparison to hundreds of children battling cancer. Murray is an ambassador for the Child Cancer Foundation and hosts the Nights of Courage event later this week. He's with us now alongside 12-year-old Lauren Hemingway, a child ambassador for the foundation. Welcome to the show, guys. Hello. So I'll start off with you, Eric. So you've just signed up as an ambassador. What does that entail? Um, basically... We help promote um, the Child Cancer Foundation. It's a, a non-government funded organisation that helps with research, um, helps with family and their children uh, struggling with cancer. And um, I was actually talking to Karen Reid as another um, ambassador and we were actually having a chat at the Halberg Awards a um, couple of weeks ago about it and he's really disappointed he can't get to this. Um, night of Courage at Sky City um, coming up on Friday and you know it's, it's great that we can be involved and if we can give our time um, to help uh, basically fundraise for kids here like Lauren then that's what we do. A lot of other uh, big names have signed up for the event though, tell me about Nights of Courage. Um, yeah basically it's, a, it's an event um, Troll Cancer puts on and we're really just trying to get as many people there as possible to fundraise. Um, Sky City do a great job putting it on, um, supporting the event and we just need people to turn up. Um, and, and help out and support fundraising efforts. Mm -hmm. um, you can text BEAD to uh, 206 um, to donate a $3 donation. Mm -hmm. So there is ways of doing it and uh, there's a Child Cancer Month coming up um, for fundraising efforts as well. So um, I, you know, as an athlete, we do what we do selfishly for our own um, thing, but mm -hmm. if we can help in other ways to um, obviously help child cancer, you know, being a father myself, um, you know, it would be a devastating thing to go through, but we have, a uh, little battlers here like Lauren, um, <laughs> uh, that, you know, why not get out there and, and help out? And you mentioned um, the beads. Lauren, you've got some beautiful necklaces on. Tell me what your necklaces represent. Oh, they represent all my hard work going through cancer, yeah. such as, you can see I've got lots of black beads. Those are from blood tests, every single one of them. So I've gone through many of those. You've had dozens of those. And what about the other ones? What about the colourful ones? Um, well, these ones here, the these ones with the spots are for radiotherapy. Yeah. They glow in the dark. And you've got a special bunny rabbit on the top there? Yeah, that was for finishing chemo. That must have been a pretty cool one. Oh, it was awesome. Now, as a childhood ambassador, you get to obviously meet a lot of the big guys. What was it like meeting Eric Murray? Oh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah. And um, would you get to go to the, the Knights of Courage on Friday? Yeah. What sort of things does that mean you can do? Mm. Well, no idea, really. No idea. <laughs> you get to find out later this week. Okay. Um, but obviously you've had a really long and hard journey with your Definitely. own cancer. What's that been like? Oh, it's been, it's both been a pain in the butt and great fun at the same time. Like, I've met so many people, met some really nice nurses. Um, it's going to be actually quite sad to leave them, mm -hmm. um, if you get on I mean. They've been good friends all of, um, with all last year. I've just gotten so used to them. Just coming in every day and then, hey Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd see them as much as you see your family, I guess. Yeah. And what's the Child Cancer Foundation? What has that meant for you and your family? And I guess are other kids in the ward? Um, it's just um, powered us along just by, well, with the beads. You feel you've achieved something when you look back at your beads and think, gee, I've done quite a lot. Because there's some kids younger than me who have over a thousand beads and I've, an, I've got 401 which is quite a, quite a lot <laughs> like so it's quite scary to think all these little kids having to go through so much more than me. Well, you're absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. You should be very proud of yourself and very proud of all your beads as well. Um, on a totally different note, Eric, you're not going to take up single skulls anytime soon? No, I've still got to get past the Hamish in May first. Um, yeah, look, we've had a great summer. Um, I think the New Zealand rowing team's really strong uh, and we've got trials coming up in a week's time. So uh, that's the time when everyone's going to have to lay it down and make it into the team for, for 2014. But, you know, at the moment, we've got a little bit of downtime. Yeah. So, you know, I'm really happy to be behind and supporting child cancer. And, you know, you just see little battlers here by... Uh, 
like Lauren and you know it does take your breath away and, and, and that's the biggest thing is if I can help support um, then you know that's the best thing I can do. That's just amazing. Thanks so much for coming in Eric and Lauren. It's a real pleasure to meet you uh, and best of luck for the event this Friday. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Lauren, you are an absolute star. You are. You, you start talking about how those other poor children have to go through so much more than you. Oh, they do. Well, you are <laughs> such a star. And I love the fact that you decided to allude beating cancer to being a pain in the butt. Yeah. Well, it, it was. <laughs> Which it was. Right? On, yeah. Calling a spade a spade, I like it. Absolute darling. You, uh, you'll be very, very, you make me very proud of you and my daughter. Well done to you. And good. Yeah. We, th we thought that you just forgot. But no, just thought, oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll that's tell you what. Give me more faith in that. <laughs> Lauren's brand, Plucky. You like that? Yep. Plucky. It's not Go too bad, Plucky. eh? No. Don't like it? What's your brand? <laughs> it's not, it's, honestly, I, it took me about a half an hour to come up with um, this, <laughs> the same one as Telecom. <laughs> so uh, don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> you're doing the pointing, I'm doing the reading. Okay. Or do you want me to do the pointing and you do the reading? I'll do the reading. I find it. Difficult to uh, point at something right. The pointing's really hard. Let's try it. <laughs> see if you can uh, see if you look there, you can see if you can touch the um the hay. Just your see? Uh, no. Nope. So you gotta She's a natural. There. Yeah, well you're not touching it. Closer. You've got to be really precise. There you go. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna do you're gonna do the um you won't be able to read because I write in this weird shorthand. Okay. So let's just do it together. So you've got to come onto your mark. Otherwise mm -hmm. you'll be standing in front of all the graphics. Here we go. So Big, grunty, purple thunderstorm cells. Where are they? Point to them. Uh, whipped through Canterbury yesterday afternoon. Final cloud forming in Amberley. Uh, but it's very fluid. And it cleared. Your head's in the way. You've got you to you 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 use your feet. See? You've got to come back here. Very fluid. Ah, Clearing yeah. the top of the South Island. Point to the top of the South Island uh, at around 9pm. <laughs> so where is that garbage now, Lauren? Out into the Pacific. There it is, your hands in the right place. Back, back, back. That's it there. Ding. All, all that garbage there. And the front to the north, point to the top, up there, the big line of cloud. That's the front that cleared the North Island. Yes! But now it's all clear skies because the high pressure swells in. Point to the high pressure. Run over to it. Yeah, there's the high pressure. That swells on in. Isobars tighten up at the bottom of the South Island, though, as you can see. Uh, the westerly wind strikes as the front pushes. Which point to the front? The front pushes onto the bottom of the south. That's the blue line. It's the blue line. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, there. that's the one. Yeah. There we go. We'll give it a click. So it's a lovely morning down south. Cloud pushes into Invercargill. Rain arrives towards the evening and spreads through central Otago, Alexandra, and Queenstown. Rain develops in Milford Sound, fine Milford Sound, becoming cloudy <laughs> out west. Uh, Nelson though, look at you, fine, lovely, 22 with light winds. It's quite tricky, isn't it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, out east, a cool start. Timaru, five degrees. Oh, oh. Go find it, go find it. Yep. Here we go. Ashburton has seven, you warm lovely into the afternoon. 25 in Christchurch and loads of sunshine. A cracker in the lower north as well. Uh, loads of sunshine, the fresh northerly develops in the capital, Wellington. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bending to the west, uh, closer to the mountain. Gorge, gorgeous in the orchard. Not as warm as the weekend though. 22 to 24 in Masterton. And turning northeasterly into the afternoon. A cool morning on the plateau. Topor has how many degrees to start? May. Yeah. Oh. Well, we're doing this together. Six. I thought this was a team. <laughs> yeah. Warming to 24 in the afternoon. <laughs> a bit warmer towards uh, the Bay of Plenty. Well, not actually too much warmer. 24 up there as well. Fine up top as well. Just some early fluff about Kaitaia. Go find Kaitaia. Kaitaia. Yeah, but comes right in the afternoon. Loads of sunshine. Hamilton has how many degrees? Hamilton has eight. Starts at eight. Moves to? 25. Yes. And you can do the last click. Perfect. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it. Give me five. Your first weather broadcast. <laughs> Very good. How was that? Did we do all right? That was amazing. Lauren stole the show, though. Sorry, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> well to done, be expected. Lauren. Thanks very much, Mark. That's great. Now.